everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another How to Build video where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And today's video, I'm showing you guys how to build five very simple traps. Now, these all stemmed off from the fourth one over here that, yes, uses shulkers. <laughs> I've been using these shulkers. I've been using these shulkers a lot lately in a bunch of my videos, but I've been having a lot of fun messing around with the shulkers. So we're going to be starting from the first one, working our way over to the fifth one. A timestamp will come underneath every single one. So you can go ahead and go right to the tutorial if you don't want to watch them all. Now, the first and third one are pretty straightforward, but then the other three, you can pretty much put them wherever you'd like to. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and switch it over to survival mode so we can get started up on looking at these traps. So the first trap we're going to be looking at is a very simple door bomb. Now, I recommend putting this trap where your friend already has pressure plates. So find a house that your friend already has with pressure plates that you know he goes in and out frequently frequently place it underneath it and he's gonna have a bad time because this door bomb is automatic once you hit them it's automatically triggered and will explode right away there should be absolutely no reaction time whatsoever to this door bomb so when we go walk into our house it will automatically explode as you see no reaction time whatsoever you can't run past it it will automatically explode and i have no idea where oh <laughs> hello mr shulker <laughs> i have no idea where i'm oh you know what my bed was in there i destroyed my bed <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and work my way over to the second one now. Now, the second trap takes advantage of the falling sand glitch on console and PC. This thing is probably the most devastating trap because you can actually trap someone on creative mode as well. Once you're in there and you have water above your head, you can't get out of it even on creative mode. The only way out is to teleport out of it. But if you take away their teleporting abilities, they'll be stuck inside this trap forever or they'll just drown from it. So what we have to do is well, I've just set mine up in a hallway. You can place this wherever you want. You can even just place it in the open and say, hey, dude, check this out. Even on creative mode, you know, people will just check out anything and you can trap. But right here is the trap. So all we have to do is just simply walk over it and or run over it and we'll fall right into the trap, activating it. And now we are stuck in here forever. Even on creative mode, I won't be able to get out of this. As you can see, I can not get out of here no matter what i do i cannot break out of this area and i'll even go ahead and switch it over to creative mode before i die just to show you. here i am on creative mode i cannot break any of these blocks i am stuck inside the sand block above my head so i cannot get out of this stupid thing <laughs> even if i put elytra wings on i can't get out that's the reason for the water so if someone puts elytra wings on they can't get out as well so let me quickly go ahead and take out some elytra wings so as you can see this thing is super devastating even on creative mode i cannot get out of this trap even on creative mode no matter what i do let, i'm here let me out 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 <laughs> all right guys so i physically had to reload my world to get out of that trap <laughs> once you're in that trap you physically just can't get out of it unless you teleport out of it or leave the game so the third one up on the list is going to be a very simple pitfall so right now i have it turned off right here and obviously you will hide the lever so no one can see it but the reason why i have the lever on the outside as well is because well when you're in the inside how are you going to set the trap up if you're on the inside of your house so this will turn it on and this will turn it off so as you see right now, it's off so I can walk right into the house. I won't fall into the trap or anything. I can leave the house. Everything is fine. However, once we flip up this lever, the pitfall trap is now activated. And once you have it activated, as you can see, the door opened up. Just close the door like that. And now you are ready to go. You are golden. So now once someone walks into that thing, the door won't open up and they'll just fall right into a pitfall trap dying from it fourth up on the list which pretty much made me do this entire video is a shulker trap we're going to be using the same method i used in my center door where they activate a pressure plate underneath them so once they activate it you could drop out whatever you want from you can drop out tnt drop out lava this one i'm using lava i would highly recommend using tnt though because tnt is a lot more fun than lava but all you have to do is just come inside a room once the shulker notices me right here he will activate a secret thing right there turning off everything and then we are stuck in here inside of lava and yeah as you see we die <laughs> so i'd recommend putting them maybe a little bit further away and my beds <laughs> i should have saved my spawn over there hello there mr shulker <laughs> But yeah, with that one, I would recommend maybe hiding your shulker a little bit better than I did right there. Obviously, they have a 14 block limit. So you can place this thing 14 blocks away from someone and they will still notice them. So you could put those things in some pretty crazy areas inside a room to set up some sort of trap for your friends. And then last but not least is probably one of my absolute favorite ones ever. And that is the normal chest bomb. That means whenever you take an item out of it or put an item inside the chest, it will explode. So once I go inside this chest right here, if I take out one of these items, just any item or even put an item in, it will explode. So once I take the item out, the boom, it blows up. And yeah, we just had a horrible, horrible time. 
But there you guys have it. That is all five of the traps. There should have been timestamps flying in with the names of the traps. So you can go ahead and skip to whichever one you'd like. But we're going to start off over here on the first one, which is just going to be the simple door box. All right, guys. So like I said at the beginning, I recommend putting this somewhere where you already know your friend has pressure plates for a door. This will make it a little less suspicious for the person. And just make sure it's one that he goes into a lot as well. And then your friend's pretty much, like I said, going to have a very, very bad time. So basically, it doesn't have to be a two wide door. It does not have to be. It only has to be a one high door. But we're going to go ahead and just do a two one just to make it a little bit more simple so we're gonna go off the right hand side right here and dig down two blocks one two and we're gonna place a dispenser facing inwards towards our door so let's go ahead and get rid of our doors for a second we're gonna place a dispenser facing inwards towards the door because your friend's gonna be going into the house to blow it up so place a dispenser right here facing inwards and then you can go ahead and place your block back and place your pressure plate on top of it so now when you hit the pressure plate you can hear the dispenser is going off and that is what we want now what we're going to do is dig out right next to the dispenser where the other pressure plate is. This is only for two wide doors and place a piece of redstone right down here. And that will activate the dispenser off this side as well. Now what we're going to do is just dig out a few more blocks, take out some rails and a minecart with TNT, place a rail right in front of your dispenser, a rail to the right, a rail to the left, and then go ahead and break both of these rails like so. Next up, take out some TNT and place TNT here and here. Take out your minecart with TNT and place one minecart with TNT right here and make sure to break the rail by looking into the corner and breaking the rail like that. Next up, we're going to go inside of our dispenser right here and either place in a flint and steel or a fire charge. Just because you can get a piece of flint and steel faster than a fire charge, but it's completely up to you. You can use that or a fire charge. Now, do not touch that or it's going to explode everything. If you want to remove these just for now, you absolutely can. But your door bomb is completely set up right now. It's completely set up to blow up the entire area. Now, this part is also completely up to you. You can add in more TNT if you want to. You know, you can add more regular TNT. You can add in another rail with a minecart with TNT. The more TNT, the bigger the explosion. But guys, you are completely done. That's the entire door bomb right there. So now what we have to do is just fill this area up, place back in the doors, and then we can go ahead and test it out. I don't have to do it on survival and kill myself. So now it's completely set up. Once I walk inside, boom, it automatically explodes. And like I said, the more TNT, the bigger the explosion so there is the door bomb second up on the list is going to be the falling sand trap now this one isn't 100 percent work all the time but once someone does fall into it it's completely devastating like i said even on creative mode it's pretty much impossible to get outside of this trap even if you do it on creative and tell someone oh go inside the trap it doesn't really matter you're not going to die on creative mode you can get someone trapped in it forever so to start this one off all you have to do is just dig down two blocks one two and then dig down two more one two and then place two fence gates at the bottom facing side to side from each other Next up, we're going to set up the redstone to close the top of the build so people can't jump out of it once they fall inside of it. So to do that, all we're going to do is just dig out two more blocks off of any one of these sides. It really does not matter. So go ahead and place down two power rails right here. One, two. Take out a minecart and place a minecart off this one. Open up your fence gate and push it a little bit inside of it and then go ahead and close it. So now when someone falls down inside of it like this, boop, they'll fall down, hit the minecart, and the minecart will get pushed over, activating the trap. So let's go ahead and just push that back over inside there and then remove this power rail and place in a detector rail. So we're going to go over to our detector rails and place in one detector rail right here like that. Then right next to that power rail, just send power to it. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Just send power to it. So now once someone falls in there, like I said, they will activate pushing that minecart over. I'll do it one time and then I'll just reset up everything. So once they fall down inside of this area, boom, as you can see, the minecart will go over activating our detector rail. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly remove this and put my minecart back over here next up take out two sticky pistons and place two sticky pistons one here and one here with two blocks in front of them now if dudes just bring power from that detector rail right down there up to these sticky pistons so go ahead and take out some redstone torches place a redstone torch off the side of the block that the detector rail is on so come to the detector rail place a redstone torch right here place a block above the redstone torch a torch on top of the block a block on top of the redstone torch and then just bring the power over like that placing redstone on top of everything so now once we hit it those sticky pistons will extend pushing blocks above our head next up take out some more blocks and place another block right here and that's pretty much it so now we're going to go ahead and take out some water this is just so in case someone has a light your wings they won't be able to get out of it place two buckets of water here and then go ahead and take out some sand blocks and place a sand block right here place a sand block right here and that's pretty much everything completely set up now sometimes people are able to break out through the center so if you want to stop that from happening all you have to do is just take out some fence posts and place a fence post right above both sand blocks like this and then choose one side it really doesn't matter and place two more fence posts up place a sand block off the side of the fence post letting it fall into place and then go ahead and break the top one right here then we're going to take out a piston and place a piston facing inwards towards the top portion of your sand block like that make sure it's off the top portion of it 
and then go ahead and just send power to your piston with anything i like to use a block of redstone pushing your sand block over and then go ahead and break that block letting that sand block fall into place so now the person won't be able to break out through the middle of it now if you don't want it to be jittering around like this all you have to do is just leave the game and come back in and it should fix it but that should be everything guys so now once someone falls inside of here they won't be able to get out even on creative mode i'll go ahead and show you real quick but then i'm probably going to have so once someone falls inside of this area right here they'll be stuck completely as you can see i can no longer get out i cannot get out of this area no matter what i do even on creative mode guys as you see i am i am do i'm pressing everything right now i'm going crazy to get out of this i'm third person now <laughs> i'm on creative mode right now i can't place anything i can't push anything out and even if i got elytra wings out i can't use my elytra wings since i'm inside of the water so i see I have my elytra wings on i'm trying to use my elytra wings right now and i can't even get out with my elytra wings so now i'm gonna have to go ahead and leave the game because i'm stuck in here forever all right guys so for the third build we're going to be building the pitfall trap now just like the first one i recommend putting it somewhere where your friend already has a pressure plate and a door it'll make it way more devastating because it'll be less suspicious on your part so right here i have a door frame because this is going to be going right inside of a door frame so instead of our door being right here we're going to back it up one block to over here but first before we put the door in we're going to place in a bunch of other stuff so right where our door frame is we're going to dig out these two blocks right here one two and place a piston facing inwards with a block in front of it but first before we do that break this block right here as well then place in your block and place in your wooden pressure plate so now when we hit this pressure plate boom it will activate the piston pushing the block over letting us fall down into our pitfall trap or you can even place lava down here if you really want to or you can place more tnt i do not know what you want to do with this thing but i feel like the pitfall is a lot better and you can also place down a hopper down there to collect all their stuff if you do kill them this way then over here we're going to break out this block and place one more piston because yes you can reset it you can absolutely reset this build and use it as many times as you want so boom as you see it it pushed it over and will fall down there and then if you want to you can even reset it now we're going to dig out a few more things back here for the door so right here we're going to dig down two blocks one two and place a redstone torch off of this block next up dig down three blocks here one two three one two three this is just so we could turn it on and off from the outside that's the whole reason for this part right here then we're going to dig underneath this piston right here one block and then dig out another block right here and that's where our lever is going to be going obviously we can hide our lever but we want to make sure that this piston is extended out and then we're going to bring redstone from underneath that lever down to this redstone torch and that turns it off this will make sure you have off or then it's on off and then on that's the whole reason for this lever right here is just to turn it on and turn it off then right above this torch we're going to place it in another block and instead of Next up, go ahead and place in your door off the back block over here. It might close just due to the redstone torch down here for now. And then go ahead and place in your wooden pressure plate. So let's go ahead and turn it off first. So now it's just a normal door. When we hit the pressure plate, it opens up and it closes. And if you really want to, you can place another pressure plate back here. So it opens up and it closes like a normal door. However, once we flip up this lever now, it is done. You are completely done. The pitfall is ready. So now if we go ahead and close this door first like this, and then we go to go walk through our door, it will not open up for us. And we will fall down into this pit trap dying from the fall and that's pretty much the whole build guys and then when you want to reset it just click this over place in your pressure plate once again and that's it now it's off and then once we flip it up it is back on close this door to make sure when someone goes to walk into it it will just stay closed and they will fall into the pit trap now like i said at the beginning i recommend hiding up this lever don't leave it like that so if you want to you know as long as you're just sending power to this piston and the redstone down here you should be absolutely fine so you know just bring the redstone and or lever somewhere else to hide up everything maybe you want to put it on the in well you can put it on the outside too i guess out here and then hide it underneath maybe a block of some sort maybe you want to put it down a block here and then maybe hide it underneath just make sure you hide it up so no one knows where it is but i'm just going to leave mine right here just for the sake of the build i'll go ahead and do it one more time just to show you everything is working so right now it is completely off so i can walk in and out of the door without having to worry about dying however once i flip up this lever it is ready to go close the door and then the next person to try to walk through this door well he's gonna have a bad time fourth up on the list is going to be the shulker trap now there's a lot you can do with this trap because he has a 16 block radius before he detects you so if i stand right here and switch it to survival so as you can see on survival mode he does not notice me however once i step onto that 16th block right there he will take a shot at me so if i come right here onto this block you'll see him twirl open and he'll try to take a shot at me if he's not going to be lazy come on i know you know i'm here see He'll notice that I'm here, and he will take a shot at me 
on the 16th block so like i said you have a pretty good range of what you could possibly do with this build it doesn't have to be right when they open the door so you know let's go ahead and use uh, this 16 block range to help us build this next trap so let's say right here is where our door is going to go so right where your door is going to go i highly recommend taking out a sticky piston because we want to make sure everything gets closed up you can either put tnt in here you could put lava if you're doing tnt then you don't have to do this if you're going to do lava like i did in the other one then you're going to have to do this and if you want to build a pretty good tnt trap just use the first one over here and set it up to the shulker itself and it'll blow up everything so it depends on what you want to use this with there's so many different possibilities you can use this trap for but we're going to go ahead and do the lava one that i showed at the beginning so we're going to need a sticky piston and some sort of block of choice and of course we're going to need our door so we're just going to dig down two blocks here one two. place a piston down here not a sticky piston sorry and place a block on top of it with your door on top of it now the reason why we're doing this is so when we walk in the piston will push the block up breaking the door and making it so the person can't leave the area once the shulker activates the trap next up what i'm going to do is just move my shulker in just a tiny tiny bit you don't have to do this you can leave it at the 16 block range i just want to make sure that he has a good visibility on everything you can even put him on the ceiling if you want to it really doesn't matter but we're going to be using the shulker and we're going to be using a wooden pressure plate to activate our trap so basically what we're going to be doing is placing a shulker upside down into a pressure plate so i like to come up two blocks and then break down a block right here place in my wooden pressure plate down here and then all you have to do is just place a shulker upside down off of this block right here so when he notices us he will activate that wooden pressure plate right there and now all you have to do is hook that into whatever you want you'll get into lava you can hook it into uh, tnt do whatever you'd like i'm gonna go ahead and just do quickly some lava so i'm gonna go like this place a few blocks up right here place a few blocks up here and we're going to set up some sort of lava trap we have to make sure that our lava can fill up the entire room as well we also want to make sure that our lava can fill up the entire room if it only fills up part of the room then this thing isn't going to work so let's go ahead and place in let's say a dispenser here a dispenser here and let's say another dispenser here and another dispenser right over here as well and then we'll fill all these up with some lava buckets so let's go take out some lava buckets and then just fill in all your dispensers with some lava buckets make sure they're lot uh dispensers as well if it's a dropper it will not work so we're gonna go ahead and place all of this in like that there we go and all we have to do is just bring power from that pressure plate over to the piston and all of these dispensers which should be quite simple so we're just gonna dig down uh two blocks right here along this whole entire area until we reach the piston so go all the way down like that and it depends on your room like i said it depends on your room all you have to do is just bring power though from that pressure plate over to your dispensers all right guys so now all you have to do is just bring the power from our pressure plate over here to all of these dispensers and this piston right here so just take out some redstone and just bring it right down over to the pressure plate now this depends on how big your room is but just make sure that the redstone is going into the block underneath every single one of your dispensers really doesn't matter how you set up you can set up so much more just make sure that it's going into the block that your dispenser is above see if i go like this it won't go into the block we have to make sure that it's going right into the block if you also want to you can place repeaters going in there if you need that extra room with redstone let's say going that way so you can use repeaters as well but we don't have to so all we have to do is just clean up the area to make sure we can't see any of this stuff like that and then i highly recommend placing carpet above your dispensers so no one notices anything so let's go place all of this right here place this in here right here and all the way down like that perfect and like i said you know just place carpet above the dispensers uh just to make sure that no one could see them so let's go ahead and just place some black carpet like this you know you can make a carpet design or something like that so we can go like that and maybe like that i i don't know what i'm doing here <laughs> that looks really weird you know yeah i'm gonna go like this boom look at that look at that nice carpet design add some red to it there we go just a nice carpet to make it look a little less suspicious so there we go perfect nice little carpet and then of course you know this is going to be our house right here let's go ahead and just place a few blocks around it like this and like that there we go we want to make sure that our shulker can see us on pe you really don't have to worry about your shulker seeing you they'll just activate so i would leave it at the 16th block range on the uh pe so we're going to come over here and now we can go ahead and test it out uh first i like to also place in a slab as well you don't have to do this but it will hide up your shulker just a tiny bit more so let's go ahead and place one slab in like that so now when we walk into our door on survival mode let's go switch over to survival when we walk into it like this the shulker will notice us activating the lava and like i said uh, you can set it up in ways where he can activate a little bit faster but you see the door is gone there's now lava completely filling up this entire room and i am about to die and then last but not least is going to be my absolute favorite trap and that is the normal chest bomb this one does not work on the pocket edition giving a heads up it does work if you put items into the chest but it won't work if you take items out of the chest this thing is super easy to set up it uses the same concept over as the first one to set up the bomb but all we're going to need is just a chest make sure it's a regular chest not a trap chest because that's a little more suspicious we're also going to need a comparator we're going to need of course tnt but let's take out a minecart with tnt some rails we're going to need a dispenser some more tnt as, as much tnt as you possibly want the more tnt 
the bigger the explosion. And let's take out a few blocks as well. So right here is going to be our uh, blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and take out our chest and place down our chest like this. Next up, come behind these blocks. And then we're going to be placing a comparator off of one of these blocks. Really doesn't matter which one you pick. But before you do, take out a dispenser and place a dispenser facing inwards towards the chest. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Make sure that it's facing inwards towards the chest like that. So we can see the front of the dispenser facing towards our chest. Then right above the dispenser, place in your comparator. And then we're going to place a piece of redstone in front of the comparator. So take out a piece of redstone place it right in front of it like that and that will activate our dispenser so see if i put an item into it boom it comes on take the item out of it it goes off and that's what we want next up we're going to place one piece of minecart with tnt right in front of this dispenser so come down here dig out these two blocks place in three rails break these two rails you can place a piece of tnt off of this side but on this side make sure you use the blocks of choice that you have underneath your chest you want to make sure you're not drawing any suspicion to yourself so make sure you just use the blocks of choice for the entire room then off of this rail we're going to go ahead and place our minecart with tnt and then break the rail by looking at the corner of it and breaking it like so. And that's it, guys. Your bomb is set up. So now, you know, you can add in as much TNT as you want. You know, maybe add some over here. Maybe add some over here. You can even add in a rail with another minecart with TNT. So it explodes everything over here really fast. Just add in as much TNT as you possibly want. The more, the bigger the explosion. Now, before we place in our flint and steel and or fire charge inside this dispenser, Fill up your chest with whatever you want. So let's say I want to chuck all this junk in here and maybe place in one diamond or something good to make someone actually go in there and take something out of it. But, you know, you can just fill this thing up with as much crazy junk as you want. It really doesn't matter. Once one item goes in or one item comes out, it will break everything. You see right now our comparator is on. So right now we don't want this comparator on. The reason why it's on is because the items inside the, the chest. So what we're going to do now is take out a block of choice. It really doesn't matter and place that block right above your chest. And then go ahead and update your comparator because right now we're not able to go inside of our chest because of this block right here and now all you have to do is just update the comparator as you see the comparator went off and now all you have to do is just break the block above it like that see perfect now it's off even though there's items inside of it it is off and that is an update so once we take one item out of it like this if i take even an item out of it boom it comes on and that's how everything works so let's go and put our items back in now to reset it up just place a block above it update your comparator Go ahead and break the block and now it's set it's ready to explode so now all you have to do is just take out flint and steel or a fire charge and place it inside that dispenser and you are golden so place it in like that and then go ahead and just clean up the area and that's it guys your normal chest bomb is ready to go so once i take anything out of this so oh i want this diamond from your chest boom it explodes and destroys whoever just went inside that chest the more tnt the bigger the explosion. But there you guys have it. That's all five traps. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.